At its core, we're a biotech manufacturing company. Uh, we buy different components and then through our patented uh, chemistry and process, we prime collagen so that it is ready to form into skin when it interacts with different environments. So we started innovation with nanoparticles in the company. As we progressed, we actually built a portfolio of products. So we not only have one product now, we have multiple products and prototypes. So we've been able to grow from basically a company with one idea to a company with a bright future that could actually make a significant impact in multiple medical applications. Missouri Technology Corporation, they were part of each and every one of our rounds of funding. And the support has been invaluable, not from the standpoint only of what the dollars are, but that inertia that it produces in the deals, that confidence that it adds to additional investors, that ability to say there is an organization that actually has a progression in the, in the application process. I think it's been invaluable, and I'm very confident that Eternogen wouldn't be where it's at and wouldn't be what it is without a Missouri Technology Corporation. Our target, uh, very aggressive, is to become a $100 million company in five years. And if we actually get the uh, approval uh, when we envision, um, we would be a company that would be creating a lot of economic growth and a lot of innovation, meeting medical needs. Um, so that's our ambition, and that's what we wake up early to and what we work endlessly <laughs> to achieve. Um, I, I just can imagine that in some time in the future we'll be able to outgrow here and have our own facility and be a hub for innovation and research that develops uh, these type of uh, cutting-edge technologies and brings them to the market.